You know, one of the finest hospitals in the state is Bristol Hospital. We've got some great hospitals in Connecticut. Bristol has really, really come into their own. And uh, I'm very happy this morning to have as a special guest, Miles Everett. He is coordinator of the Bristol Hospital Diabetes Center. Now, I don't know if you know this or not, but diabetes is now at epidemic proportions. 26 million Americans and growing in the middle-aged elderly and now also the young. Would you believe it? For many, there are significant steps they can take to prevent this debilitating chronic disease. You certainly don't need diabetes. Let's meet our special guest, Miles Everett. Miles, good morning, good morning. Good morning, Brad. How are you? I am, I am fine. And I'll tell you, you guys have really, really been doing it over in Bristol. It, it's just tremendous what you have done in the last year to, year to two years. Really. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Now, what is, I want to ask you just a couple of questions that, uh, I'm sure people, uh, ask themselves. What is diabetes type two and why is it? so prevalent now it's really a, a vascular disease um the, the blood sugar that's your energy source can't get into the cells of your body so they can run and there's it's stuck in the bloodstream and then it goes to toxic levels and begins to really take apart your circulatory system so now you're set up for heart attack and stroke um kidney failure, blindness, amputation, dementia, the list goes on. Um, and that really is because of something called insulin resistance, where insulin, which normally opens the cell for the blood sugar, isn't working anymore. And um, But the reason why it's so prevalent is this is almost like two waves to this, to Sami. And the first wave is sort of a double wave of obesity and being sedentary. That's, those are the things that are really bringing on. There's a, there's a genetic predisposition, but those are the things that's really bringing it on in the large population of people. Miles, how can it be prevented? Going after those two things. Uh, weight loss, changing your lifestyle, improving your diet, and getting off your chair. <laughs> getting off your chair. So, again, certain foods, right? Yes, yes. You know, and it's, it's, Brad, it's back to the three square meals a day. We, you know, we'll skip a meal, we'll snack a meal, and then we'll have this enormous feast at the end of the day, but we really have to value each one of our meals. Back to breakfast, a real lunch, you know, and then maybe a smaller dinner. Get that pattern back in. You know, all the, all the white breads, all the white flour products, you know, exchange those up for whole grains, you know, whether it's brown rice or whole grain pasta or whole wheat bread, and back Back to the old thing, fruits and vegetables. Get your fruits and vegetables. Now, what about exercise? Oh, exercise. Um, that, well, for one thing, never sit for longer than 20 minutes. Always get up at the 20-minute point. Walk around, you know, go to, go get some water or something, talk to a friend, and then go back to your desk. But never for longer than 20 minutes. The commercial comes on television, get up. But the other thing that you want to try to get, the, one, the other thing you want to really want to try to get is 30 minutes of aerobics every day. Um, and that may be something you have to build to, but that could be walking or biking or, or swimming or even dancing, something like that. You know, if you've got a dog, uh, don't let them sniff, just keep them moving. My special guest uh, this morning, Miles Everett, who's coordinator of the uh, Bristol Hospital Diabetes Center. You might laugh at me, but I exercise, believe it or not, uh, while I'm doing my program. In fact, while I'm talking to you, I am doing uh, some exercises. I I hold and count in my head to about five, release, and I do this throughout the uh, morning from time to time. Oh, good. You're an inspiration. I'm going to sit up right now. I just got out of my chair. No, I'm, I'm serious. You can, you can, you can sit, and uh, I do, my, you know, I, for example, I, I extend my legs. My legs are extended under my broadcast table. Mm -hmm. I uh, tighten up my thighs. 
and keep them for about a five, six, seven count, release them. Mm-hmm. Then I go to my arms, do the same thing, and uh, my stomach, and I do this throughout the morning. Uh, and that's the best. That's the best. You, we're finding that, you know, one of the things about sitting is you're not using your leg muscles. And because of that, your pancreas may not be working the way it should. And that's your insulin production. So you're doing exactly the right thing. Well, coming from you, <laughs> I'll continue it. No, I've been doing, I've been doing this. You know where I got the idea? I read a book. Uh, you've heard of Charles Atlas, right? Oh, yes. yes and, yes. and, and what he, uh, you know, writes about what he wrote about while he was alive, and he called it dynamic tension. Mm. And uh, I'll tell you something, it uh, it works. It works. It really does. Cause I can't, I mean, what would I sit here for from, well, 6 in the morning till 10? Oh I get God. up once in a while, of course. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, generally, I'm I'm doing that kind of a uh, exercise, and it, and it seems to... Uh, Work for me. It works. It's, you know, it's the old thing. You, you don't use it, you lose it. So use it. Yeah. So anyway, now, I know there'll be people probably listening that would like to get in contact uh, with you. So I'm going to give uh, a number here, friends. If you'd like to call uh, the Bristol Hospital Diabetes Center, uh, 860-286-3000. That's 860-286. Two eight six three zero eight two. And again, uh, Miles, give my best to everybody and congratulations on the great job all of you are doing at Bristol Hospital. Uh, th- and same to you and keep moving. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you.